You want to know why the media <clears throat> only shows us negative things? Chaos, you know, n negative, just pure, you know, it puts fear in you. And that's what the agenda is, is to put fear into us. So we, 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 we tap into that frequency of fear and we start operating out of fear. And that's what the devil wants. And, you know, what we consume is what we manifest. So their agenda is if, if they just fill us full of fear-based, you know, negative stuff, we're going to think about that and manifest more negative and more fear. And that goes along with their agenda. <clears throat> we're going to be operating out of fear instead of faith in God. And that's, that's why the... Uh, the media does that. <laughs> so funny. Gang stalkers. <laughs> Anyways. Fuck. But you know what I mean? See, that's the devil just laughing. You know what I mean? Like, they weren't even talking. They weren't even saying anything. They just started laughing out of nowhere. So I guess they think that's funny. Because the devil does think that's funny, right? Um... But anyways, yeah, that, that's that's the reason why they only show us fear-based stuff on the news, man, in the media. They manipulate it to benefit their agenda. And you got to be careful with what you consume. You have to be careful with what you allow into your mind. Because if you allow that, that poison into your mind, you will manifest more poison in your life. You know? So that's why I don't watch TV. I don't watch the news. I don't pay attention to it that much. I hear it, I see it, I know what's going on, and I just say, okay, that's okay, I have no fear because my faith is in God. And that's what separates me from that frequency of fear and, you know, darkness. Because if you dwell in the dark, you know, you'll be consumed by the dark. And uh, that's the opposite of, of what God represents. God represents life, light, love, you know? And that's the frequency you need to tap into. So the only thing you should be consuming into your mind, at least the majority uh, of what you should be consuming in your mind, is that exactly. And that's why, you know, God has us meditate on the Word. You know, it's because it gives us life. The Word is life. And if you have those thoughts of life in your mind at all times, the evil and the darkness and the negativity and the fear-based you know, satanic, demonic, you know, shit can't penetrate, can't infiltrate you. Because you walk in the light, you walk and you, you meditate on the word day and night. You know, and it says in the Bible, you know, God's people meditate on my word day and night. For a reason, man. Man, people have been healed in Jesus' name. You know, cured of cancer. You know, stage four cancer, just from praying, man. Like, it's real. You know, there's a power behind the name Jesus. You know? Yahshua Messiah You know, it's real, bro I've witnessed it so many times in my life That I, I'm, I'm at a point in my life Where I, it's, I'm unable to deny it Realistically or logically at this point in time It's just undeniable All the people that Choose to disacknowledge The power of God or, or Christ and, 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 you know, try and say Jesus is not the son of God And, and they go against Christ they, they, You know, they don't Tap into that power and they can't because it's not meant for them. It's a gift from God for His people, you know. So this is this is another thing, man. Like, you know, friends that I grew up with have lost their minds to mental illness. They no longer speak. Like, I try to talk to my friend that I grew up with, and and it's just scrambled words that come out. Scrambled words. I'm like, yo, Anthony. I'm like, yo, it's me, bro. What's going on? What's up with you, man? What's wrong? And then it's just all scrambled words that I can't figure out what he's what he's saying because his, his, he's lost, he's become mentally ill. His his mental state is distorted because he chose to focus his energy and his mind and allow his thoughts to be consumed by darkness, and he lost his mind. But I did the opposite. When I when I was young, I, when we were young, I was the one evil, you know, dwelling in sickness, dwelling in evil, violence, you know. Uh, I was I was I was demonic. I was satanic. I was evil, you know. And my mind was distorted, and it's taken me many years of my life to try to correct that and fix that. 
and it's not easy but it, it was meditating on the word is what preserved me and kept my my mind in the right place <clears throat> and i survived the streets all my life and mental illness but people that i grew up with didn't and that's the proof what did they do differently than what i did we grew up on the same block at the same age all the way up so what happened what did he do differently that that caused him to 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 be consumed by mental illness to the point where he's no longer the human being that i used to know where he can't speak anymore he never he, i haven't talked to him in years because he, he don't remember me he can't talk to me but he was you know what he was trying to do he was trying to tap into satan's energy he was uh he was, uh, he was all into the, um, he started practicing the uh, Masonic stuff. He started uh, tapping into the fallen angels and, uh, you know, the Anunnaki and all this. Uh, and he believed that he could, you know, he, he, he denied, he, he used to be a Christian. And then he started to deny Christ and he started to deny God and said that it was a lie. And that now uh, aliens are gods. So, I mean... You know, and then he started to believe that. And that's when he was still a person, a, still a human being that I could talk to. And, and, and he's, he, you know, he denied, he used to be a Christian, then he started denying God. Started believing all the black magic, all the Masonic shit, all the fallen angels magic and their, their teachings and the, the Masonic shit. You know what I mean? It's demonic, satanic. And then next thing you know, a couple years later, he, he was gone. And I warned him and I told him, I said, bro, this is what's going to happen to you if you keep playing with this shit. You've, you've denied your faith. You've given up your faith in God. And you've taken on the, the, the you know, the, the false knowledge of, of the fallen angels. And, you know, and then, again, this, this, is, this is all goes back into what you consume in your mind. And this is the reason why the media fills us full of this shit. It will distort. It'll distort you, you know, and it'll change you in a way that will make you you know mentally ill and then you'll lose your mind and uh you no longer have life as a result because you didn't meditate on life in in the word of god which is life so i just wanted to make a video talking about that it's pretty deep shit um so i'd recommend you don't get consumed in those things man only meditate on the word of god only look to god for knowledge and wisdom don't look to man for anything healing don't look don't don't go to man for healing don't go to man for knowledge or wisdom because it'll destroy you you'll be misled and you may never find your way back to god you know and then that's it you know you become mentally ill the, the devil penetrated your mind you're not the same person anymore he became evil man and then he lost his mind completely where he couldn't talk to me no more or even just disappeared never talked to me again and then I tried to talk to him one time and it was all scrambled words and I, I tried to get through to him and there was no Anthony there no more. That happened to a, also a, a chick that I dated as well. And now it's the same thing, it's the mental illness, man. Um, and she, same thing, scrambled words. She makes absolutely no sense when I try to talk to her and she used to be like a sharp, you know. I, I, miss, I miss these human beings, bro, you know what I mean? But they're no longer who they used to be, and it's because they chose to, you know, dwell in that in that sickness. And I watched it happen, and she thought all that witchcraft and that satanic shit was cool, and it was funny, and or or, or gave her power in some way or something like that. And um, and then she lost her mind, like Anthony. And how you know what? The proof is in the pudding. I'm the one that's doing the opposite of that. I'm still okay. I'm almost 30 years old. A lot of people become mentally ill before they even reach 30, and that's usually when it's going to happen. Schizophrenia, all that shit, you know what I mean? And I, I kept a strong mind because I kept meditating on the Word of God. And uh, this is why you don't want to, you know, consume yourself in the media. There's lots of tricks, you know. I don't watch movies because it's Hollywood. It's, it's all satanic. You got to be careful about the music you listen to. It has... Um, it, you know, it has frequencies in it. I'm sure you guys already know about that. Um, there's a reason why they put it at a certain frequency. Um, and record in a certain frequency and put the output to a certain frequency. Because it's that frequency that you don't want to tap into. Because it'll distort your mind. So, meditate on the word of God, not on man.
you know. I had two, two, two of my blood cousins that became Masons, Freemasons. And uh, they've been deceived. Because you know what they wanted? They craved knowledge, history, man-made history, man-made knowledge and wisdom. They, they went to, to man, to the Masonic cult, to gain this intelligence or power or, you know, uh, be a part of the brotherhood. Um, you know, and and they turn. You know, they you know they think I turned on them, but they turned on Christ. We were all on the same side. You know what I mean? We're all with Christ, and we and you know what? My cousins were fully like tapped in to 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 the Christ energy. You know, and then I watched it change. And you know, it says that would happen in the Bible. It says you know your brothers will try and like t betray you. My cousin even said that he was gonna, you know, tell tell my enemies where I was and they were gonna kill me. You know, and these people hurt me really bad before when I when I was young, and they're real fucking hitters, real gangsters, and they will kill me if they catch me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and that's just because the devil wants me dead. These people are evil for no fucking cause. They want to destroy me for no reason. You know what I mean? Fucking, you know, they try to slander my name, false politics, whatever they can do to try to destroy me in any possible way, shape, or form. You know, but you know what? God is protecting me through all that, man. And I meditated on the word instead of instead of the evil, you know. I, I still struggle. I'm going through internal issues and struggles, you know, that that I pray all the time to God, like, help me, you know. Get this off of me. Remove this from me, right? So. You know, but, um, yeah, man, that's my thoughts on that. So take what you can from that. I wouldn't be meditating on certain things that I know some of you are. Don't get lost in the sauce, man. Don't 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 get consumed in the doom. You know what I'm saying? Don't practice. You know, don't don't get involved, man. Don't don't look at the darkness. Stay away from it. Stay in the light. Walk in the light. Meditate on the word of God day and night, man. Don't watch the media. Don't get consumed in that. It even said in the Bible, there's gonna be famines, like the coronavirus. There's gonna be, you know. Uh, word of wars you know wars are coming wars are coming this and this and that but don't have no fear because these things have to come and pass you know uh to make it to the you know to when 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 jesus comes back judgment you know what i mean these things have to come and pass so have no fear you know we don't operate in fear and that's what gives us life so take that in man hit you know hit hit the like hit the subscribe hit the bell share this video um, and yeah, let's just keep growing, man, and um, let's keep on this journey, you know. The devil's going to hate, the haters are going to hate. I already touched that evil life. I did all that shit that these motherfuckers have pride in, and they think this shit is cool, and they're laughing at me now because they think I'm washed up. But really, I tapped into the right frequency, the right energy, and I already been what they are right now. So they think that's cool. I did that shit way before you motherfuckers did it, and I did it a lot more nastier and evil than you motherfuckers did. I was way in the dark. You think you're fucking gangster. You think you're fucking nasty and fucking evil. And you think you're tough. You have no fucking idea. I've flipped your whole fucking world upside down. And I've done it. I've su surprised a lot of people. A lot of demons. So. Fucking gang stalker over here. Looking at me with his black glasses on. Sitting there for no fucking reason. Like. What are you doing there? As soon as I came here, you know, a guy came over and just started looking at me with his black glass sitting there. Like, come on, go about your day. Continue on your fucking function. Just sit there and fucking act like you got something to do and you don't. You know what I mean? It's the devil, man. You start talking about God, you'll see the evil come in. You're going to start going through hardships, man. You know? When you when you meditate on the Word, when you pick that Bible up, you start reading, you start praying, you're going to see the evil come. It's going to close in on you. You're going to all of a sudden bad things start happening and then it, it pulls you away from that makes you not want to you know you're like you know that's that's no good you want to get away from it now you don't want to read the bible because every time you touch the bible or go near that you know all of a sudden evil stuff starts happening and it scares you off because that's that's the job of the devil he's trying to deter you away detour you away from from the word of god man so be careful with with what you consume in your mind and uh, meditate on life not death man don't operate in fear stay resilient